There we go. Oh, hi everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... <laughs> Free some first mentor here at your server. Damn, that was tasty cricket. And uh, yeah, I have revealed the magic of the Discord soundboard, <laughs> Street Rakir. So, uh, <laughs> I fear I have cursed the stream for the rest of time. <laughs> Case in point. Anyways, <laughs> welcome to uh, the, at the moment, last of the main Prince of Persia games. Prince of Persia, the Sand, uh, not the Sands, the Forgotten Sands. And, uh... <laughs> okay, let's not overdo it too much. <laughs> Uh, like, after we finished the last one, Prince of Persia 08, which again, this does not have a category on Twitch, it denies its existence. Uh, yeah, two hours later, a new Prince of Persia game was announced. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown, which looks to be a lot more like a Metroidvania. And some people I follow online have had some hands and experience with that already, and from what that say, they say, it looks to be promising. Yeah, from what I saw, I was unsure if it's going to be like Metrovania or a mix of Metrovania and old school Prince of Persia, just heavily stylized up. And for now, though, we have to get through this game first. And um, yeah, it seems they've forgotten to add much spectacle to this. I was about to say forgotten to add music, but then the first notes came um, in. Wait, hold on. Look down there. 1.00. Yep. That's either good or bad. Yeah, that basically means that after it was released, it didn't get any updates. So, uh, yeah, I know practically nothing about this game, though this area that it's showing, it looks a bit similar, though vastly different still, from that uh, area where we kept getting health upgrades in uh, the first Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, yeah. and even we popped in there during Two Thrones, I think. Yeah, and I actually know a little bit about that. It is, and I should uh, clarify this right off. Xbox, PlayStation, and PC are the same games. However, the handheld ones, each of the four handhelds that got this game are drastically different from each other. Yeah, uh, yeah, I remember that from uh, Matt McMuscles' video. Yeah, that's what I was watching, and uh, yeah, that we did are not, not doing the hand comes along. Yeah, that did not help this game sell at all, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, now... and there's one more thing that I should probably say is, this is the, probably the only game we can confirm that if there is any bug or anything weird, it's definitely due to the deadline for the year. Won't this be released in time for the movie. Yeah, and we all know how that typically goes. Let's play on normal. I might come to regret that, but at least there's no hard. Let's see, this game in the timeline takes place between Sands of Time and War of Redrin, so technically it is the it's Prince of Persia 1.5. Oh dear. No. Enough chatter, what is actually going on here? as if I were a ruffian, a wanderer with no place in this palace. Know that I am a son to King Shahraman, and brother of Prince Malik, who rules here in our father's name. I did not come here seeking a mythical army. I was sent to study alongside my brother, that someday I might be as great a leader as he is. This territory was once the heart of King Solomon's mighty empire. According to legend, it holds a secret we are sworn to protect. Perhaps that secret is the reason the fortress is much sought after by neighboring kingdoms. Malik was sent here so the army would have a strong commander to discourage attacks. But even Malik's famed strength could not discourage everyone. So, uh, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> Oh, 
Those sounded like the trap noises from the previous games. Yeah. Okay. This is not yeah. Glad I was a bit sensitive. Yeah. First thing we should do is volume fixing. It is rather low. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, it's already. <laughs> okay. Well, we were talking about me uh, <laughs> possibly getting an audio mixer, and yeah, this might be proving a case for that for to do that. So let me just. Up this by five decibels or so. Uh, let's see. Seven or minus seven at the moment. So two things I noticed. This is his this is very close to his or it is outright his Rory Within outfit. And yes, it is Yuri Lowenthal again. Okay, also let me lower that uh, controls. Where's that sensitivity? Yep. Yeah, let's put that to half. <laughs> that is very sensitive. Okay, nice that they offer an option to lower the difficulty in case you get stuck. Oh, yeah. That's much better. I was, I'm pretty sure the Persia did not have a situation like trebuchets. Okay. Simple I guess combat because they changed the combat system here again. He'll be planning a way out of this. CRDs? Ow. Um, I recognize yeah. the hats. Are they supposed to be Byzantines? Oh. These hats. <laughs> These are more. Oh, I can't say if they are supposed to be Byzantine or not. Yep. <laughs> okay, banish him to his Shadow Realm. So far, from the distance, I can only say Middle... Mm, pardon? Middle Eastern? Okay, wall running feels a bit slow. Oh, we go. Okay, but it, it is... This is just starting out. Climbing up here wasn't the best idea. Yeah. Oop, oop, sorry. <laughs> Passing through. Okay, I know I'd seen someone play part of this game. Oop, good thing we weren't there anymore. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure I stopped watching them after like one video or so. Not, don't know if it was because the, the Let's Player was just boring or not. Okay. Are those supposed to be inspired by the immortals? Could be. Speaking of, the, you'll be in the new Prince of Persia, you'll be playing as an immortal. Well, yeah, several even, maybe. Yeah, the combat feels a bit sluggish compared to the previous games, so far at least. Like, Looks like the only it, way out is to climb up. We're going. There's going to be sand shenanigans later on, which may speed things up a bit, or maybe they're trying to go for a more bit tactical gameplay. Since now we can, now we have, now we already had a dodge button. Now, now we can actually kick enemies to disrupt them. No one's shooting arrows at me in here. Yet anyway. And I, I do like that he's back to just, just uh, bantering with himself. That was close.
Though I do feel that his face with this is a... Ooh. Yeah, it holds. His face feels a bit off. It looks yeah. a bit small for his face, I think. For his head. Yeah, for his me, face I feel like... And I would look at it like, like... If it like... But on this side, maybe you should look to me gruff or very young. Mm. And end up doing a weird mix of both, if you get what I mean. Yeah. But, yeah, just nitpicks at the moment. We'll see if there are any hard things that would piss us off. I doubt, do I mean, they, they, they seem to... We know it. this is set between the first and second game. Yeah. But all things that feel... That definitely couldn't fuse others for their remote things that should have been technically after him. Oh, uh, hello. This also reminds me of Azad. Do we have a combo meter there or something? Or, oh, no. Hmm. Okay, we we can't. Not, okay, they show timers for the mechanisms. That's a nice little thing. Um, this is looking worse and worse. Yeah, I think I think they're doing all of this stuff because it has been a, quite a while since th there was a Prince of Persia like this. Like Prince of Persia or Eight released two years before this, but this is a lot more. It, a lot more in the style of the Sans trilogy, but it's it's part of it. So, Sans quadrilogy. Yeah. So yeah, people who played 08 oh, would need a bit of an update on oh, how God. this sort plays. So definitely giving the game a lot of lot uh, benefit of the doubt for now. Yeah, same. For again, we. we, we Malik. He must not the battle. I want to say is we both have seen Matt Matt Masso's video about this game. I've seen it maybe twice by now. I think so. And when I watched it, I Instantly told Hillian to double check that this game works for Pendley. As you may have seen there earlier, Not you need you to play to play this. Yeah, on PC. that as well. Um, Which means there's a shot yeah. it may not work. Yeah, oh, you play and all the other stuff. Very well known that they often cause issues. Yeah. Enough to, I think, feel like it may have hurt franchises. Power attack. Okay. It's definitely. Like I can grab on here. Ah. Definitely looks like they could get quite a bit out of this combat system. Like, that will need to break defenses of certain enemies and such. <clears throat> Ooh, have to swallow some air or something that like when you feel half a burp coming up or something like that. Ah. Uh. Okay. You, yeah, his you his face like looks really weird. Yeah, it does. You mean like when your body suddenly suck air into your lung to then do a burp without you wanting to do it? Yeah. Mm. You just do it by some weird primordial instinct without warning. <laughs> Might just be a tale of. Where are all these arrows coming from? I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be indoors now. Uh, I was asked, who the heck did you piss off? Oh, that was bad. Who the heck did you piss off? I mean. <laughs> uh, I think a better question is. <laughs> Who is trying to piss off Malik? Because they're the ones laying seats to this place. Like, seriously, <laughs> where are these arrows coming from? They... Someone has to be a real... Have, have some real eagle eyes or something. Uh, am I even supposed to get in here? Oh, yes. Hello, oh, yeah, boys. 
What do you say that? I learned a bit uh, about uh, some people culture that, are, that have unique genetic mutations. Yeah. Um, by that, I mean entire groups. And apparently, the natives of Australia, uh, I forgot what, what they are called. I don't know whether you're supposed to call it Aborigines or what. Mm. But they have way better eyesight than the average human. Yeah, I could also just be. Mm. I think Mo. I forget. Uh, yeah, you just talking with the people who still live in the tribes and such out in the fields. Yes. It could also, it could also be a partially trained thing, since well, they have to actively hunt for food and such every day. Yeah, still. for their eyesight. For is it is inherited even? So the eyesight is. I think what was it like? Three times better. Mm. But they can see far. Yeah, I, I think it par might partially be just the wrong way. I think the, the three times just through the genetics itself might be a bit of an exaggeration, I think. Not to say that they don't have better eyesight. Oh, they, they, um, they, they run the yin test. Okay. It's a bit of a... It's a, it's a basically a gene that we, many other cultures lost, but they retained. Okay. And there's some other human that had something like that. I forgot it. I forgot. I, I, many of these names are very new to me. I probably will learn them the more I hear about them. And there are some... Oh, I should wait here. I was saying, I, I forgot the name, but they're all around uh, Indonesia. Uh, as, uh, I think they were called, people call it sea nomads. Okay. But they have a unique genetic thing unique to them that their liver is, what was it, I think twice as 50% bigger than uh, other people's livers. And that helps them to swim. Uh, Hurry and get down here. I'm pretty sure the no way down. Go on, I'll meet you. <laughs> Ow. I'm pretty sure the liver isn't really connected Master to swimming. More of helps them dive. Solomon's vault. Or was it a kidney? Is it just one organ that's is a adaptation mutation in them that is unique to them. I forgot whether it's the liver or what, but it's... I do remember it's about twice or 50% bigger. Yeah, and it I'm has helped sure. them for uh, diving. And... Yes. I'll just I'm take pretty sure there. neither of those organs has anything to do with diving. So I think you might have been... I, I, I think I you might have to... been fed some pseudoscience. <laughs> no, it's, it's on what tops and he, they usually know what they're talking about. I, I think it's more of, I forgot which organ it was. Could be. For I know it was a organ that Oops. does help them to die uh, easier or such. I only watched it today, I was watching it in the morning as well, so... Not even fully awake. Yeah. So I may have to rewatch it, but... Yeah, I can recommend you to watch Bot Tops, where he does have some interesting info. Ah. 
Okay, this is a lot more than we typically have to deal with. Nope. Okay, we can't climb over the shield, guys. Nope. Ow. Nope. Okay, that was a leap and a half. What? The combat I... is a... The combat is going a little bit uh, Arkham style. Uh, not saying that's that, a bad thing. That's a pose. Okay. Uh, and there is a deal. Sprint. But yeah, yeah. if there is some weird info I can learn, it's useful for what tops where he does research. Okay. He is render. Can't say I've heard of them before, though. But I told you about them before. He, he, he's the guy I told you about when I learned about uh, God Donkeys. <laughs> okay. And I, do you remember when I told you about the bird that flew from Africa to England with a damn spear through its uh, neck? Okay. Apparently, there was a new bit about. Uh, I was tired from traveling all day, so I stopped in the baths to relax for a while. Then I had a nice hot meal, and now I'm ready to help you defend your kingdom. <laughs> okay, why does this guy just not get as many speaking voices? <laughs> because he is a funny fuck. <laughs> Fall back to the gate! Like, most of the time he gets hired for stuff, it's for grunts and such. Okay. <laughs> Those gates lead to the treasure vaults. I'll need to find a way down there. Oh dear. But yeah, a lot of it. That's not the first time they happened that a bird has survived with something through its neck and throat. Um. I think I'm... Go ahead. Plan to release King Solomon's army. He'd be mad to rely on a mythical army to stop this invasion. I have to warn him. That would right. totally not be a good idea, especially with what the prince has seen before. Yeah, but also, see, apparently, something like that has happened recently again. Apparently, some idiot had thrown a worker knife at a duck. Uh, yep. And he survived with a knife to his throat. And he seemed just fine. Probably could arose when. <laughs> They try to catch him and remove it. Um. He, he, he survived after the procedure, but it took them over one or two weeks to catch the damn bugger. Yeah, as, Just as long to as catch it's... him and remove the knife. Yeah, as long as it misses vital stuff and such, animals will just live on with stuff through them. I recall something like a, a goose or something with an arrow through its head that was yeah, they showed that still picture. alive. They showed a picture of that, and there's apparently a seagull who had... As was shown the image, luckily it was healed, but he had apparently got attacked as a hole in his throat. However, he did die of starvation for... Every time he tried to eat... Yeah, I think you can guess what happened. Yeah. It Ooh, fell out. But, yeah. So those so are impressive in survivability. Yeah. Okay, at least these pokes are real obvious when they are attacking. Are we going to get a block or counter at any point? Or would that be too close to copy an Arkham? Because, uh, how are we going... How and where are we supposed to heal? Was Arkham in the release before this one? I'm pretty sure. Okay. It was in heavy gear. I don't recognize. I think that's a bit more... Maybe more fantasized version of Medieval Arm, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Yeah, it could just just been added in to add flavor to the combat. Hmm. 
another way in. <clears throat> and yeah, it, it's still hot as hell over here, but at least it's less hot than the yeah today. Yeah, that, I, I was told yesterday it was going to be even hotter today. But luckily in the afternoon, we was about to get ready to close the windows. Something wonderful happened. Mm, what then? Wind. Yeah, that helps a lot. A lot of wind. So uh, I, I was able to keep the windows open for until... Five. Okay. There we go. And also that I got my damn air cooler to work again for... Apparently its pump refused to work yesterday. During the heat yeah, wave. Yeah, that would explain a lot about everything. Yeah. Uh, so today I'm just also having it working again. Had come here. He placed his last hope in the army. His only other option was retreat. And defeat. And... Uh, we people wondering it still worked just the pump refused to work and i washed it extra time today and now it finally works i don't know if it was something with the pump or it was random okay Ooh. Ooh. okay almost missed there holy and that's a lot of gold yep but the... okay it feels a bit weird that I... You? That's it. Why, why am I only, after so many years, now questioning the rule of this money laying everywhere? <laughs> it would be a bit uh, wasteful to have it lying around. Yeah, and if not a hazard even. Like, why not just keep them in barrels and chests? Uh, could be they ran out. But I do I mean, think about it, you would require so many chests and barrels. At least you're gonna fill a room with the gold, at least. Not like this. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Don't rub it, you dumbass. The invaders had reached the vault before me. They had met with no resistance and were calmly stealing what treasure they could. I knew then the palace was lost. Yeah, I think I think that thing that is bothering me about his face is that he looks like he, uh, rude. He looks like he's just. Permanently sucking on a lemon or something. I, I just want to say something. He looks like a small someone else. Yeah, he, he doesn't really look like the. He does. His face looks not uh, exaggerated enough compared to, well, the comparison we saw with Malik earlier. I think they tried to make him look more like the guy in the movie. Could be. However, from seeing him, he looks more like. Oh, what's the actor's name? I forgot. One of the popular guys from Walking Dead with a crossbow. Um. Who used to be a very big jerk. Or at least his brother was a damn jerk. I've got no clue there because I never watched the show. Like, most I ever got from that was second hand. And from what I heard, it, it went downhill pretty damn quick after some point. Yeah. I, I got to know it went downhill after I bought some DVDs. Which I just realized they are seeing the wrappers. Okay. It's this way. Ooh. Okay, not doing the flip over like before. Right, I'm going to go and grab some ice cream if I need it. And share with you if I could. Okay. Yeah, it, it feels like his actions are a bit le more sluggish and a bit less athletic. 
in a way perhaps a bit more realistic perhaps even as we're jumping from wall to wall hmm. oh yes still looking forward to uh, the last crown and how that turns out Oop. choices a leader must make. This is going to end badly. If it is in my power to save this kingdom, I will do it! I'm not trying to question your leadership. You don't even know what you're releasing. As many warriors as the grains of desert sand. That's a lot more than you think. These are the sands of time. There was more than just the hourglass. You might not want to stand in that. It is only sand. Song stuck oh. in my head again. Okay. Oh, clever. I forget the name of that god. Of that god, the elephant head one. The henna is, I believe, a hell. I don't think that elephant headed god is of hell. I mean, it's of wisdom. Yeah, but I, it's a name that starts with G, but there's also Gehenna, which is a sun mythological hell. Ooh. Yeah, but not from that one you're thinking of, I think. Uh, this Ganesh? Ganesh, yeah, that's the one. That's the god of obstacles and passageways. Or some... Oh, not the first and not the last time the, <laughs> the prince will be uh, escaping an apocalypse like this. <laughs> he has a point. Uh, <laughs> the priest is going to turn into Anakin. Uh, hello. Whatever it is, we're running through it. <laughs> okay, and that's how we got here. Is this also where we're going to heal now? 
Astro Plains. Um, try to be in your best behavior, Helium. And now we're caught up. That is how I found my way here. Where is here exactly? And who are you? And what do you know of King Solomon's army? We are Razia, Queen of the Marines, Guardian of the Waters, and ally to King Solomon himself. We help to seal that army away. That would have been more than a thousand years ago. You couldn't possibly... I am of the Jinn. We are not so short-lived as humans, or so quick to forget things of vital importance. Do you know what your brother has unleashed? That army did not belong to King Solomon. It was sent to destroy him. The army was formed from the desert sand itself. It is a disease. The more sand it touches, the more soldiers it will create. If you do not trap it quickly, it will cover the world. How can I stop it? Do you still have the half of the seal you picked up? Of course. Good. That is a powerful magic. Alone it will help you fight the army. If you reunite the two halves, you will recreate its prison. You must find the other half of the seal and match it to this one. Malik still has it. Then you must find him, and quickly. We will give you the help of the Jinn. What did you do? If you wish to stop the army, you will need more time. I have given it to you. Time? And a final warning. The army is led by Ratash, one of the Ifrit. He will likely seek out the medallion. If you see him, do not fight him. You cannot hope to win against him. I'll keep that in mind. Go. There is no hope for this kingdom if we do not reunite the seal. Why do I get the feeling this won't be as easy as it sounds? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You should pro uh, press your priority. That's not the sounds of that. I think these are different kind of sand. Yeah. Did you have a similar ish effect? Yeah. And um, what the have we. Magical here? sand? Yes. Just not time sand. Well, we'll see what ability she gave us, since she seemed to say it was time-related. Or maybe just meant as a more figure of speech in, well, giving us more time to survive. Uh, actually, oh yeah, I've noticed. Okay, so, so now we have even more reason than normal to commit vandalism. Very stark breaking sound, <laughs> twice. Oh okay. dear. So yeah, just smash everything in our path. And also, uh, <laughs> when the gamer girl bathwater is the gamer girl. Uh. And here's the slack jaw, that stupid joke. Uh. What was that place? Oh, no, uh, wait, can we look at? Never mind. I was late. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe not sands of time, but definitely. What she meant by giving me more time. Are these the powers of the gene? More time adjacent ish. Then right. again, okay. doing back. the same thing. Back. No, no, back, 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 back. Go back, go back. Look at the door. At the other door behind you. Why does that? So why does that feel like it looks similar to one of those Assassin Creed logo? Yeah, uh, it's a it's a tr it's supposed to be a drop of water, and well, and it's moon? sort of similarly shaped. I yeah. Hmm. Oh wait, uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed had only released yep. before this one. Yep. Or has it? Uh, by 2010? Definitely, yeah. 
All right, then, yeah. And, oh, yeah, you can even get Assassin's Creed outfit here. Yeah, and we could get one in uh, 08 if we'd use the code. If... Oh, okay, now it's not a hold. You can... Okay. Hmm. Do. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of jank going on with the game here and there. But so far, more than serviceable. And I can see the lines. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Now a question is, could what, could there be a relationship between oh, the djinn... I can get to the fortress through here. Oop. Connection between the Jinn and the Empress of Time. Hmm. Why is it so quiet? I can't even hear the battle anymore. I think you can take a good guess as to why. Oops. Okay, yep, just throw a bunch of sand zombies at us. Like we called them sa we we called the sand creatures sand zombies before, but these are most definitely the closest it's actually been to a full-on truth with those. Mortal skeletons. Yeah, um, the s skeleton warriors. <laughs> damn it! You beat me to it. I was planning to use that, that as a meme. Uh. <laughs> I, I, I'm not seeing the show skeleton warriors, but I have seen the toys. A friend had a few. Okay. And after seeing them, I do feel like, especially even now, after seeing some games, that people should take some inspiration from them for to make some more unique undead. Okay. It's... Okay. Imagine you had to face a tall skeleton with six arms. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's see it. Oh, that's a just a Great. simple example, but I do get a bit uh, more creative. Hmm. Okay, some basic RPG system. Uh, where a skill system. Yeah, not every game with a skill system would really fall under RPGs, I'd say. Oop. But yeah, this time our objective is rather simple. Just get the other half put them together, probably stick them back into place, but of course it's not going to be that easy. It really is, but like, it sounds easy on paper. Or papyrus on this occasion. Uh, Actually, would they have had paper more so than papyrus by now? Uh, I'm sure, for I know it's mainly because you'd use the "Quote unquote, paper made of a sheep hide." Okay. This, to surprise people here, is quite flame resistant. Like it doesn't burn. Like okay. you see when I reveal and say, "Oh, you have this paper. Just burn it." That is, that's not going to happen. At least not that quickly. Okay. It may, it may ruin the ink, perhaps, but. It doesn't gonna, it's not gonna go up in flames. So if you have those, a book of those in uh, something like a big fire in a library, some may survive but be heavy damaged. Like, they're, right. they're not gonna be killed in ash, but they're gonna be very wrinkly and. Yeah, good luck reading from them. Ow, that could, that could have hurt if we'd been a few seconds later. Uh, of course, it wouldn't be Prince of Persia without the traps. I'd like to find defenses that could tell me from an enemy. Okay. Is it slowing down? No, it's not. Uh, it'll be quite a few time until that could happen, Prince. So, until then, <laughs> bad luck. Or tough luck. Okay. Yep. Hello, boys. Yeah, 
I think Matt Muscle to compare these combo style Aegir to I think Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, it's not to that level yet. Yeah, but I can see what they mean by the similarity. Yeah. Speaking of Dynasty Warriors, uh, uh, hmm. I'm a bit surprised we haven't found sub weapons yet so far. But uh, yeah, back comes Dynasty Warriors, uh, the second Hyrule Warriors game, Ooh. Age of Calamity. Uh, apparently, that uh, that actually plays as a a prequel to Breath of the Wild, and because of that, Tears of the Kingdom. So. Uh, that that has me a bit more curious about it, uh, since I since I do own that version of the game or the, that version that a copy of that game. I didn't know those had story. Yeah. I I think I think that the Dynasty Warriors get a bit of a bad rap for when it for when it comes to story. Like, uh, I don't actually know if there's much difference between them. I presume there would be that they don't just sit. Yeah, he is as yeah. doubtful as I am. <clears throat> yeah, I know that was in warrior games have story. Probably has a better plan than I do. You did not know the Hyrule version of it had. Uh, they have the fire, the uh, the fire emblem verse, uh, variant also does. Is, is that would that be a good term for it? A variant because it's basically the same gameplay with uh, changes for the property that it is adapting to or being adapted to. But yeah, from what I hear, the Hyrule Warriors is pretty fun. I played some of uh, the first Fire Emblem Warriors or. Whatever it was called, I forget what specific, I own it and I played it for a good few hours, but I still forgot the name. Oh, it? What is? <laughs> I come up to that voice. Okay. Perhaps these defenses do have their uses. For once. Okay. Yeah, I, I I presume that by now that the prince has developed like a freaking spider sense for traps. Yeah, no, I will sadly say that we will not see the haka. Uh, yeah, which is a old thing. I think you can guess where everyone is. Also, if these things. Uh, create more, like the more sand that they uh, touch. Uh, that would basically mean that. Uh, Don't let that them reach Sahara. Yeah, for one, and for two, it would basically mean that with every person that gets changed, that there's also more sands there to, for them to change as well. Is yeah, and apparently this was not this was not Solomon's army. Uh, More of a, Solomon's a hit squad. Imprisoned. Wait, what? Yeah, Solomon's hit squad, or rather, the hit squad sent out to kill him. Yeah, so they imprisoned them. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we need. One more. We can't. Okay. Can we put it? Okay, there. One more. But now we can climb climber up to that. But can we actually get across now? Or, oh wait, we can get across this way. Which? Okay. Brings that up. Okay, I see now. We want to get to that other one as well. And then we can jump back and forth to get up. I thought we had to get... Uh, yeah, I, I thought that we had to get from there, 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 and then there. But there's a block there. Okay. Mm. 
What the? Hmm? Someone write written something on the floor? Or yeah, those are weapons. That's weapons oh. all over the place. And rope. Okay, okay. Some more than one clues on the floor? Mm. Well, no, just junk. <gasps> okay, now we can get up. Yep. And uh, pardon, hmm. if that was heard. It wasn't a knock knock. <laughs> it's Sandman and the boys. Wait. That that man went enough to just push it down? I, I was expecting that there would be way more pushing it down or something big. <laughs> They probably just weakened the door with through the sheer amount of beating on it. Um, I think we just almost bisected one. Yep. Okay. Yeah, these. I can see why the soldiers earlier were so slow to attack. Because, well, we were going to face these things a lot more and they're slow as all hell with their attacks. It's just that we are immune to being, well, turned to sand, which makes these things actually more, much more of a joke. Yeah, do they have one advantage? Yeah, numbers and just likely respawning infinitely from the desert sands. Yeah, and... Actually, when you think about more things that are like, do they even need to eat? Yeah. They don't see. need the bathrooms. Stone armor. Surround you in stone armor that stops any damage. This power will use the energy from one slot each time. I think I say that word wrong each and every time. It sounds more like I'm saying with an, a U than an O. Okay, let's get that. Say. Okay. It's at uh, three, four, one, two, and... Okay, what? So, okay, that is... Three activates that one. So this is what's happened to them. I hope they do not remember this when they wake. Uh, if they wake. They're lucky to not have fallen apart. Okay. Uh, let's try not to destroy them on accident. I'm going to try and not <laughs> destroy them. Yep. Okay. A little bit annoying that climbing up is on the same button as wall running instead of jumping. Uh, just a minor. Okay. Power attack. There. Okay. Uh, can we even... No. Yeah, let's just go down a way that is definitely safe and not going to shatter our knees as much as that likely still did okay nope. yeah uh, I have to say so far the game feels a little bit underwhelming but that might just be because well we've played through the previous three games of this quant quant uh, quadrilogy uh, which we knew and liked a lot more so this one is facing an uphill battle Let go of your half, you're in danger. 
If we're going to reunite the pieces, I want you standing next to me. Meet me at the gates. You must be careful. I've started the palace's defense system. There are traps everywhere. We noticed. <laughs> I was about to say we noticed. <laughs> okay, yeah. that is a that is a good explanation as to why he doesn't just chuck it across to us. Yeah, like nothing wrong with two boss room wrong with that thing. Again, for my myself, for my part, my soul, people did get confused. Like there were Oops. impression it should be between the first and second game. But there was sort of aspect that made people confused. Wait, is this supposed to be between second and third game? But that, that we may see something, some oddities like in the second game, they said he was for many years hunted by the Dahaka. Yeah, like he's technically the Dahaka should be on his ass already here, unless it's yeah. just like, this is like directly after. Uh, yeah, could just also be that the Dahaka took some time to show up. Possibly. Okay. These gears must run the palace's defenses. They look more dangerous than the traps. The works. Okay. Quick. Yeah, I am still interested to see what uh, this game is going to offer us. Ooh, Ooh, just same. too late there. However, I am also a bit uh, ready for knowing that uh, this game is probably the only one we can confirmly know had a deadline. Yeah, and was likely rushed even more so than the other games, which. <clears throat> Each had like a, less than a year or so. Uh, okay, it looks like the rewind goes in parts more s specifically than. Yeah, and then they did, as you said, he, he seen here, they, they tried to decide to do a blend between the actor for the movie and the uh, yeah, mix of the other two from the first and second game. Yeah, and, it, and still I say that makes his makes his face look weird. It, it, I think one of the parts of it is that his eyebrows seem to be rather thin. Which, yeah, not too good visible at not too visible at this range, but I, I think it I think it makes him his face just look a lot more flat than like compared to Malik who has a lot of contrast in his face from uh, his beard and such. Oop, wrong way. Yeah, Malik looks like he's a part of the art style and such, but the prince seems almost less part of the art style. Yeah. Probably due to they, they try to make him look like the actor a little bit too much. Yeah. But also in order to make him look like the artist, in a se they ended up doing a little bit, a, they, they should just kept it to the original art style. Yeah, they try to please everybody, and by doing that, they please no one. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, enough harping on that. Other than that, new it, song, everything everything does uh, look uh, everything does look good. Oh yeah. Well, this, doesn't this look familiar? Ah, uh, yes. Helios Alarm Clock. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, well, uh, that's, that, that was me patting my hands on the cushion of my, uh, of my chair. Alright, I, I thought you, you, it was your reaction to my joke. Yes. No, 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 no. Well, In either case, it's a total breach of protocol. Ah, damn it. Um, okay. <laughs> time to get was... the pig leg. Okay, okay I, I thought that was going down a lot further than that. Okay, there we go. Cutting it rather close with these. 
Okay, this thing again, that the the bamboo pole of doom. Oh dear. Oh, oh, up. Out of what? sand. Uh, out of sand, or rather more out of charges. Okay, that, that Okay, that was me just getting the controls reversed again with... Yeah, we need to press the right mouse button to, to go Listen. up from the ledges. Okay, that's what happened. I thought, I thought the, the controls uh, rebelled against you. Damn it. Could be that they changed things up a bit since it was rather easy to end up jumping away from a ledge instead of jumping up. Since before the control to jump up from a ledge was to, well, press up and space. Or jump. Wait, what did he say there about women? Uh, missed uh, Same bloody mistake. Like, it, it's... <laughs> it's practically ingrained that I need to press up and space uh, uh, space bar or jump to go up a ledge. Okay. If I, he said something about Farah. I missed that. So. Okay, that brings that up. And it looks like this entire place is... No, the wheels are going the wrong direction for those to be water wheels. Um, I guess that mark means checkpoint? Yep. So now I can die a stupid death again since <laughs> we're out of charges. I was hoping you would die so we could <laughs> rehear the thing. But we, like, we missed that twice. Okay. Go. Hmm. I thought he said something, what's with me and my luck with women or something? I guess I can always uh, rewatch the stream. True. And if he did talk about Farrah, he's probably going to be chattering about her a lot more. Okay. Next. Whip. Again. It's muscle memory. Okay. Luckily, we can get those char those rewind charges from just smashing stuff. So let's actually do that. Not you, you, and you. Again, the most stock fast. Yeah. That I I I think I almost mixed up like the word the the word for vase in Dutch and English together or something. Like I. I what I would do that. My brain was going for the, the Dutch wording, but in the in the in an English uh, accent or talk like. Okay, uh, and how would I had had that had sounded if you prevented yourself to do that? Yeah, it would have sounded the same as uh, yeah that that's the yeah that first villain from a uh, Far Cry three mm. boss. Boss. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. Boss is Swedish for vase. Yeah. Okay. Luckily, it oh, is no. being pretty generous with these checkpoints. Uh, what his name was Vash. Nope. That's that's Trigon. All oh, right. Wash the stampede. Yep. Okay, now we just twist this around again. And get going. Let's see. Are we going to be stuck with the same sword through most of this game? Or are we going to get upgrades with that as well? No idea. And yeah, this is all giving me a very big uh, warrior within clock tower. Uh, or no clockwork tower feeling. Let's see, that'll get us across. <laughs> yep, can't grab that. 
I may take a look at the controls to just swap mode to swap things around maybe. But for now, I'll try not to get myself killed too much. Yep. Okay, then we can go back across through this one. It is going to take a bit of getting used to. And let's see. Then with this one, we do... Okay. Uh, can we... Okay, that is now up, but we can't reach the other side because I don't think we can make that jump from the, the thick pill, uh, the, from the thick beam to over there. Uh, is it going to change things with how this one is? Or... Hmm. Yeah, th there's a gap in the fencing over there. It's really low fencing, actually. That's more of a tripping hazard than anything else. So that is where we're expected to land. Let's see. Mm. Oh, oh, I see now. Now we can jump across. Oh. You wanna see? Now we can jump here. Not that wall, Prince. Okay, and then... Yeah, now we can get across. Okay. Up. Up. Up is not jump. It's, again, for some reason, it's the wall climb button. It's just... Weird why they put some of these things to the same control as that instead of just the jump button. As would be, you know, usual this kind of game. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay, one of them went off the ledge there. Actually, a bunch of you can go over the ledge. <laughs> or they can just collapse in like a sack of potatoes. Yeah, I just remember there was one console they also did a different for. No. The Wii. And I actually bought that uh, version, did like with the fair a uh, bit back. Yeah, but it's not like that. They might have done two for the Wii. Hmm. This is weird. I found it, find it a bit doubtful that they would release two different versions on the same console. Yeah, well, it was for one from the Wii and the other Wii U. So apparently, one, yeah, you ow. use the Wii controller. <laughs> and you need to waggle to swing. But the other version, you only need to press a button. On the Wii controller. And yeah. I don't know if the Wii U needs the Wii controller for something. Uh, no, it... Uh, the Wii U also has that uh, that tablet that also works as a controller. Uh, let's see. Trial of Flame. Trial of Fire follows you, causing damage to any enemies that touch it. This power will use the energy. Okay, let's actually get uh, a bit more health. Okay, these are just upgrades to the previous ones. Battle Rage. Okay, just passive sword damage. Whirlwind. Create a gust of wind that knocks your enemies back. This power will use the energy, yeah. Ice Blast and Power Attack Upgrade. Okay, so basic power. Okay, and in the middle we have Time Power Upgrade. Increase the amount of time, okay. Flow Power Upgrade and Double Health. That <laughs> Okay, let's work towards that. Okay. Uh, yeah, apply changes. Oh, uh, hello. That's the creature Razia warned me about. What's it doing? Oh, 
سلیمان را پیدا کنید و با پشید It's summoning lieutenants. The army is getting more powerful. That old the heavies. Oh, speaking of, we have a new type. You ow! Stab it through the skull. Okay, I, I'm definitely liking these animations though. And it looks like they won't attack whilst we're doing this. <laughs> Holy! So it doesn't seem to instant kill. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, hello, are you... Oh! <laughs> okay! You were just uh, multiplying, I guess. Yeah, move quick. I guess those are the heavies. Yep. Let's see. I can't tell if they're getting damaged or not by the normal attacks. That does work indeed, definitely. Okay, they, we can't just batter uh, them down with normal attacks, but power attacks is probably the better choice. Because they seem to be really slow in movement and attack. Hmm. Okay. Go. Moving on. Hmm. Hey, you see that something? Hmm? Some of these traps make sense, but then there are those like these that do not make sense. Yeah, like, like why the hell are these up on the wall? Like, like they, 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 they only make sense if you know someone's gonna parkour around the place. Yeah. You... Like, if you knew the Prince of Persia was coming. That then would make sense, but for an invasion? Then yeah, they don't make sense at all. Yes, still just the same mad coming through. The mad architect <laughs> who has been working through all of Persia and the Middle East. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Okay, we'll deal with that bad back of yours, but making it worse. Yeah, they are really slow to attack with that. Yeah, and the sword looks for... They look like something a scene for orcs and ogres in Warhammer. They think, oh, I got a blade. How to make it better? I hammer him extra sharp bits that look like he has teeth. I don't think it would improve a blade weapon in any matter if you do that like that. No, it would just make it more likely to get stuck. Yeah, though when you are a big orc or a big ogre... Are you unsure if, it, if uh, you make it stuck is a, the biggest issue? Yeah. Hello. There you go. More vandalism. It seems that we get 10 experience from those. At least it jumps from 40 to 50 from what I saw. Hmm. Yes. So far my judgment would be... Uh, it, my, so far my judgment would be that the game feels a little bit underwhelming. But not exactly bad. Yeah. But that could just be biased towards the old games. Decorating. Okay, we 
we are definitely going to have to fight that thing. Yeah, I want to show he's the lieutenant of Moral the regular. Ow. I guess I should have seen that coming. Seems that there's a fault line right there. Dude. You were saying? Okay, with this one it was less obvious. Maybe, yeah, the, the scratch marks on the wall should have given that one away. Still a bit of a bullshit move just popping that on us. Let's not jump. Again, why is jump away space instead of climb up? Like. I, I do like the combat so far. I I am missing a block encounter button. But I guess uh, with this many... Uh, yeah, it would be too many attacks at once to really block. Yeah. There we go. Just another one of these. Okay. Uh, yeah, these. Okay, I'm going to keep be a better eye on these things, you know, on those marks on the wall. But that does feel a bit bullshit that you <laughs> you don't really get much time to react on that. But it, again, yeah. that could be a, maybe a bit them leaning towards more realism. A little bit, I say, in a game where we're fighting sand zombies. And I think I said it with a Z there instead of an S. <laughs> zombies. The sum sums. I think I heard someone nickname zombies sums for some reason. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay, it's going to come. Yep. What would you even qualify as? You are definitely not made out of sand. <laughs> it's definitely not a YouTuber and a wolf. Who's called Gorilla Vent? Uh, I think I've heard that name before. Yeah, he usually uh, call out with their Ow. cartoons and a yep, he's yep. delirious. Oh yeah, he part of the Vamos crew, I think. Uh, or were was? They? I think they were, but they I think they drifted away. But the uh, good offense, cartoons, and his delirious, they hang together usually uh, co-oping, along with Undead Squirrel, I think they're called as well. Okay, that's a new name, and seems like this thing is as made of sand as the others, or summoned from it. And yeah, I, I watch them now and then. Preferably not in the full bed, though, since they can get a bit loud at times. Yeah. Do they all fun at times as well? Okay, this bastard course corrects his path when if we try to dodge too much. Come on. Uh, he is getting slower. Would make sense since more and more of your body becomes out, made out of sand. Ooh, or, I don't think that's sand. Never mind. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sensitive much on that. Good though that it gives, uh, that it pauses instead of just immediately skipping. It turned okay. to sandstone? Yeah, I guess. Hmm. We'll probably be facing more of those Ooh. as we go. Um, 
Okay. First off, typically these things don't move whilst we're still moving on them, or at least without us not falling off of them. On the other, are we supposed to just be able to reach across there? Because it doesn't seem like it. Okay, and I'm guessing these don't unlock until we've unlocked the other side as well? I think so. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you really? Are we killing our fruit in sync as well now? It, it, that's not. It simply just not close enough. It's okay, game. Uh, <laughs> what are we missing? If, if we really are just supposed to be able to make that jump and it doesn't, then that would cut it really short with this game. Okay, guys pointing to the gates. Hmm. Let's see, that is where we came from. Is there something I'm missing here? Is that... That distance is just too big. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So what this here to go there. Hmm. Yeah, even I am blanking here. So I doubt this will lead anywhere. Yep, too low. Hmm. Doesn't matter if I hold the buttons down longer, it just doesn't reach. Also, why does that refill? Uh, why does that empty out is more the better question. Wait, are you to run up that then jump over? There's nothing to grab on here though. It stays out too short to do much else with it. Uh, I mean, like, you don't. First on the wall with a flag. Oh, no, that wouldn't make no, sense. No, that wouldn't. That wouldn't make any difference. Let's see. What if I? That did. There we go. We make use of. Okay. Yeah, we need to roll run up a bit on the wall as we land as well. Okay. It... That makes sense. Okay, um, this way. I'm just going to revert that. Okay. That that actually ties a bit toward this wall run after hitting a wall. That is what were, that was introduced in the two thrones. And ooh, ooh. I found it a bit annoying there, so I'm, I'm not fully sure how I am about them bringing it in here. But it is something we control. Oh, that got a bit close. Uh, ah. That got a lot more than close. Ow! <laughs> I'm pretty sure one of the spikes there faced through the prince's head. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that was more me an that was more an issue of me, yeah, not fully gripping the control. Well, so. There aren't any statues in the courtyard. Those invaders must have retreated at the first sight of the sand creatures. Smart of them. I can't say I blame them. <laughs> Smartest invading army we've seen in this uh, series yet. Hmm. 
there be sand creatures in them <laughs> hills boss and they just all fuck off right away <laughs> ah, oh, these things again okay they are a classic but they're also a classic nuisance yep. as are these yes Okay, just take your time with your swing. We'll come back next Christmas for when you actually bring it back down. <laughs> I guess that's one sign that these aren't as close to the sands of time as we thought since it takes them for freaking ever to actually make a move. And <laughs> as the camera just dives through. Actually, let's bully you for a bit. Yep. Nah, I wanted to bully them more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. And back in the clockwork stuff. Let's see. Okay, just remove the safety. Is it just going to... No, it's just going to move into position. And if we jump on it... Okay, it just moves back. Okay, up. Yep. Mm. I, I, and after four games where you jump up from a ledge with the space bar, it is really just mem also memory now. Huh? Okay. Now we have two of these. Yep. Uh, hold on. What is this second one for? Okay, that's going to block this one then, I presume. Oh, oh no, that... Oh, that move... I thought that was going to move the, uh, the other gear. Okay, uh, pull. Pull again. Okay. And that's... Hmm. And this. There we go. Okay, now it couldn't move back, so instead it turns. Bit of an odd there one. There we go. <clears throat> okay. What wrong? <clears throat> go. And there. Again. Who is supposed to be getting around all of this on a daily basis <laughs> to keep up maintenance and such? Freaking oh, Spider-Man. There's a large group of sand soldiers on the way. I can slow them down, but I need you to close the gates. All right. How does it work? <laughs> How should I know? That's helpful. I think the levers behind you lock the mechanism. If you unlock it, that should let you raise the bridge. They've broken through. Get this working as quickly as you can. Hmm. Okay. We need to bring that down, or...? Hmm. Oh, okay. Now we have a more complicated version of this. Um, let's see then. You... Uh -huh. Move that gear. Okay. And this one, oh, these two. Move those. Okay, I'm guessing we need to use the brackets to get the gear moving forwards. Let's see. Maybe? Yep. Okay, it won't move any further. So then we... Hmm. 
Do we give it another pull from here? How do we transfer it from the first to the second then? There, oh, go. there we go. Wait, that was obvious for you? <clears throat> no, I, I thought we had to figure out a way to move it a little bit more. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, there. Hmm. Okay. There. Can we then move this one? There we go. Okay, and that should be enough. Just move it along. Along, not the back. Wrong way. So I was grinding gears today. Oh yes, I went there. Okay, then and we no need to move that play. one to keep it in position. Okay, now when we turn it, it's just going to turn the other gear. Okay. They've been making you stronger as well, and I think we can both see where this is possibly going. Yeah. Power of experience. In a negative way. is no slouch. Ah, uh, uh, oh, crap. Oh. Okay. Oh, yep. Ow. Okay, I guess the big one's job is to be the the breach maker. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> okay. I think we had a moment there of uh, that myth of what happens when a tiny car gets crushed between two trucks. <laughs> Wait, okay. myth? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. Get up. Okay, why? Yeah, the game is clearly showing that it's lacking quite a bit of polish here and there. But. I don't think there's ever been an actual case of that happening in reality. I think the Midbusters did something like that once. But I think they only got it to a plausible at best. Well, that ought to keep them in. But we seem to be separated again. We need to reunite the medallion. Wait there until I find a way up. What's your hurry? The army is trapped. I can kill them one by one. Gain their power! Do you hear yourself? This army sucked the life from your people. And you won't stop it because it makes you feel strong. We can end this now. Throw me the medallion. Throw me your half. If you care nothing for power, let me reunite the scene. <laughs> As I thought. Right. I've got to get the medallion halves back together. Okay. Hmm. Oh, going in a square for once. 
And no, I did not miss the floor spikes. Yeah, too smart for you, stupid thing. Okay. There, simple enough. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, saving this little spot. And then we just follow along. Okay. Another of those doors. I hope Razia can explain what's going on. Probably a case of uh, Why did you not give him the medallion? He would not have reunited the hearts. I'm certain of it. Something is wrong. He talked of leaving his own soldiers to die. As if it meant nothing. He refused to stop the army. He acted as though I were trying to take his kingdom from him. Why is he so obsessed with power? What did this do to him? The army is growing stronger, and your brother killed many enemies. By collecting their energy in the medallion, he must have fallen under the army's sway. The power we added to your half of the seal must have shielded you from it. Why didn't you warn me this might happen? We thought you would be quicker to reunite the medallion. You let your brother convince you to wait until it was too late. If I get the seal away from Malik and reunite the pieces, let him come to his senses. It is possible. In any case, the longer we wait, the stronger the army will be. You must find your brother again. This time, if he will not give you his half willingly, you must take it by force. He's being controlled. I won't harm him. You tell me Malik was a wise leader. If he is beyond helping his people now, you must be the one to take his place. I do not want his power, or his kingdom. I will make him see reason. Then you must hurry. We will give you what help we can. Adiea of Bardor. What is this? The power of the Marid. Dominion over water. And why didn't you give that a bad at the start? <laughs> So is it just me or does his face look more normally proportioned in the cutscenes? Or is, is this all just mostly just uh, I, yeah, my eyes playing a trick on me or something? Yeah, yeah I'm debating if they're using different models for the cutscenes or not. Still just feels a little bit off here and there. Again, she certainly doesn't encourage visitors. Okay, <laughs> now we can, well, not turn water to ice, but we can pause it. Okay, well, only say that means... And you're all freezing the water in that way. Technically. Uh, freezing time, a bit a little bit this time. Okay, we have a limited bar of it. But we have plenty of time so far. Water became solid at my command. Seems the Jin can control the elements themselves. Okay. A pretty neat trick so far. There. Oh dear. Okay. No, it recharges real fast. Someone nearby. Please, just let me out. Please, don't leave me here. Okay. Arrow launchers. Yeah, this, the sand swords are abandoned the prisoners. No one should be left to die like that. Uh, the, the prince just can't help but run into prisons every time, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Have shield versions of them. Very so now have the ones. proper heavies. Mm. 
Yeah, the other ones were just uh, blade sponges. Okay, let's deal with the father first. Do this. Oh, hello. Don't scare me like that. The game got unselected again for a second. Still can't figure out why the hell that happens every now and then. Yeah, was it this? This guy's kind of almost like mummies. Yeah. You miss me. And I, I like that they actually put the experience gaining in the <laughs> in the actual story. That he is also yeah. power leveling, but he is going mad with power. Okay. Also, I should probably try to use that stone skin ability. Actually, he kind of emulates a type of player thing we have may have seen. Hmm? Those who cares too much on leveling up. Yeah. But end up uh, at cost of. Uh, Every embassies die because they care too much about getting that little extra XP. Yeah, the murder. The wrong is the most. Is, yeah, the, the most the time in the, getting civilians to die would probably make you lose XP or fail. Which yeah. in a way would mean you lose out, uh, lose out on XP. <laughs> but still, yeah. Okay, but up yeah, up. I can also get definitely become a murder hobo. Oh. Okay, that yeah. opened on the sprinkler system. <laughs> opened up the sprinkler system. Okay, but I'm guessing that's in place to clean the place. I accidentally interrupted you. What were you to say? Uh. Either I've forgotten or I didn't have anything to actually say, except for that still muscle, me uh, mu well, muscle memory with this out. Okay, that's two. Oh dear. I thought the one sometimes if I either interrupt you about to say something or I actually interrupt your mumbling. <laughs> Most likely the mumbling. Wait, how do you know you're not mumbling now? I wonder how well attached these are. Probably better not to think about it. Yeah. I'm thinking all of these Why? water installations here are for cleaning out the prison uh, the cells. Wait, isn't that where we started? Uh oh. Uh, th these look like lanterns. Probably a bit on purpose. They begin blunt as a pain. Okay. No going back that way. I'd better move quickly. Yep. Quickly that way. There we go. Yep. Okay. There. When is the next one coming down? There. There. Okay, should be safe ish. Yep. Ish. Emphasized. Did one of them make a sound like a cat there? Oh, sure. Shield boy. If really, you're just going to stab him in his ankle. And I think. No, no, you were just stuck. You were just contemplating that non life. Okay. I think we could probably just walk circles around these and they wouldn't be able to hit us. 
Stands. You can really jump like that after some of the attacks, huh? Yeah, holy. There you go. Okay. Um, there, there. Here, okay. Come on. Okay, so enough. Is that going to fill the place up, or is that just going to... Okay, just going to give a pillar for us to climb on. Okay. Um, okay. What, what is with all the waterworks around here? I, <laughs> I know the garden hose hasn't been invented yet, but this is getting a bit overcomplicated. Is it for fire or to clean up of the prism dry it? Yeah, maybe not dry it, but torture probably. Oh, I mean, more like uh, you clean, get the blood washed off of the prism, prism riot. Prison riot. What the heck? How is hard we to say that? Yeah, I don't think they planned for prison right? So I, yeah, I'd say it is more cleaning up after uh, other things. Well, okay. it's the wrong room for, for the uh, torture chambers. Now they're just being efficient. It, uh, can we even reach that from here? Yes, we actually can. Okay. And up. Okay. And now, that I, now that I'm getting a bit more used to it, being able to run up the wall a bit after landing uh, does help a bit when it's at our command and not automatically like it was in Two Thrones. Okay, and that... Again, just how is someone supposed to navigate an area like this when you need elemental powers to get around? <laughs> Monkeys? That, they, that might have gorillas for all we know. Okay. Twist around, run up, and across we go. Yeah, that recharge is real fast. It's more just the limit of how long we can do it uh, than anything else. Okay, one more. And there we go. And in comparison, this one I call almost insultingly easy. <laughs> it stopped right before. Um. Okay, no, it didn't stop. It weakened. A... Uh, I want to give you claps for actually succeeding that without uh, making yourself look, a, look like a fool, but you ended up doing that anyway. Yeah. That's not where I expected it to happen. <laughs> okay, let's see. Easy enough. And, uh, of course. <laughs> and yeah, I guess this also adds a bit more on them not being sense of time creatures since they really didn't like water. Yeah. Hopefully. Hmm. And... Uh, 
Yeah, then they're probably just some, uh, yes, sandy freaks thing. They look very undead, but they could be wraiths, as far as we know. Up. Okay. Where is that even flowing from? There's no opening there, from what I can see. There's... That makes sense, but this one not. Okay. An oversight? Hmm. Okay. Um... Nothing for us to plan yeah, grab onto here. Okay. We continue up here then. Oh yeah, there, there, there's water splashing when you ran there. So yeah, I think that was an oversight. I think that's uh, probably meant to be water there. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, um, either oversight or there's a bug. Okay, we don't hang low enough for those to reach. There we go. Or it's meant to be flowing through a gap in the stonework or something. There and there. Well, is this supposed to be flowing from under the door? <clears throat> Need to reposition a bit. Ugh. So should we reposition ourselves at the same time? Go up and the, the wrong up and the wrong way apparently. There. Okay. Oh, up, 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 up. I'm guessing we'll be getting more elemental powers as we go. Let's see. And okay. hello. Oh, great. Yep. Not too smart there. Probably because it's stuck up there and just summoned these things continually. But now they're in ass kicking range. Yep. There okay. we go. Okay. Now they are they are adding more enemy variety. But mm -hmm. the combat isn't really as interesting, I'd say. Yeah, like I guess it, it could uh, become interesting just Again, if they had not had a deadline, I feel like it could have got the level polish it's needed. Like they, sh they should have gone closer to Arkham, uh, Sid you know, Arkham uh, Asylum, Arkham City and such with the combat, but uh, it's likely there's a copyright on that, so they can't, you know, they can't copy it too uh, similarly. Uh, let's see, how do we get across? And even there's no copyright law on no. it. There, there's still the rule. Oh, how about, I guess you could call it a taboo about it. Up. Um, can we actually just. No, it's too high up. Okay, am I being dumb then again? Let's just back down. Yep, yep. Camera. Yep. Okay, the, dunk, dunk. <laughs> the camera was headbanging. Okay. Um, let's see. We have about five minutes remaining. Probably okay. less. Yeah. At one, on the one hand, I don't want to criticize them too much for trying to change things up a bit, but on the other, uh, it feels like the changes could have used a bit more work 
to get it all figured out. Yeah. Again, we will not just just charge this as we can confirm they had a deadline, which I have repeated too many times now, but uh, probably. Again, I really wouldn't be surprised at me repeating that this game had a deadline until we finish it. Yeah. How are we supposed to actually get over there? Can we... Can we give this thing another twist? Is it going to activate anything else? Up oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> me be dumb. Okay. Hey, better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there and there well, I... and up. I'm gonna have fun with this. Well, I'll I don't need to. Hmm? Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely need to, need to look at adding more sounds to it. <laughs> yeah, for I'm resisting the press. The air horn. Yeah, that one is loud. It... Yeah, the, the muscle memory. I, I could see it being funny. It, I can also see it being a little bit mean. One thing I, I am definitely disliking, though, is the fact that it seems that we aren't really getting a combo system. This is much more hack and slash, and honestly, I would have preferred it if we yeah, could keep attacking between uh, main and breakable sub-weapons. Because yeah, the moves were pretty cool a lot of the time. Oh yeah. And pretty good at dispatching enemies. So just being left with only our main swords. And again, it was also how it mostly was in Sands of Time. Ow. Yeah, hopefully we find more swords to switch this out. That is a hope. Hopefully. I, I, I'm not against him going against a horde of enemies. And they're not close themselves, but too bad. No. Maybe you get a bit more feel for it when we get more of spells or whatnot. Yeah, also I should use this. There we go. So yeah, the fade map must, uh, the map, map must still has said that this uh, fighting style here is not as exciting as the other ones. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of bottom mashing mostly. Yeah, it's not the worst, but the worst apparently goes to about the handheld ones, about which one. It's. Oh. Okay. Oh, Are we going to get out of the one? sewers? I remember which one that you probably got the worst combat system. And which one then? The one where you need to touch the touch screen on a... What was it now? 3DS or something? Yeah, DS, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the 3DS came out somewhere in Twent, uh, between. And there's the stream timer, so let's keep going until the next checkpoint. Yeah, most yeah, likely to them, DS. You... Yeah, for one of them you needed to use a... You you only fought and ran using the touch screen. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, you can see the problems rising there right away. Oop. Oop. Oop, oop, okay. Okay, they're adding timing to those now. And, okay, 20 experience. Okay. Freeze, unfreeze, freeze, and there we go. Okay. Uh, up. Thank you. I just realized something. You've been washing your hands a lot. Let's see. Uh, 
You know, he kind of has to since he has to handle it the entire time. Uh, okay, I'm going to be have this is a this is a nitpick, but in the other you know, games, if we came from wet footing, we wouldn't be able to get up because well, no grip. <laughs> but again, nitpick. I that. Yeah, but if they had time, I think a lot of things would have been fixed. Then again, they, you could probably ascribe that to him having been given a bit of power over water as well. Yeah. Do when I think about it, it, says it doesn't have a patch of the release. This palace is often called the Oasis. It's easy to see why. Mm, pretty <laughs> the bats. Okay. And that was a checkpoint, so that is where we'll have to leave it for today, then. Hmm. Yep. Okay, uh, yeah, a bit split still, like, I'm not too big on the changing combat, being more towards button mashing. But I'm liking Malik, and hopefully the elemental powers can get pretty interesting. Like, uh, water, fire, stone and air, probably. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. And I'm curious also on, on the gym. Do I don't know we won't see too much of her, sadly. Okay. It's, it, it's um... kind of sad. Like, it, it... Again, I feel like this game could have been great if they had more time. Yeah. It's, it, it, well, <laughs> The Lost Crown certainly had plenty of time after this one, though I very much doubt it's been that long in development. Yeah. But yeah, high and hopes for that remake. game. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, high hopes for that game. I'm not going to buy it like day one. I do want, I am going to wait for reviews because well, PR stuff is always meant to show the best of something. So for the, all we know, the rest of the game uh, could suck <laughs> massive uh, chimera balls. Uh, but yeah, going to keep Perhaps an eye on it. Be. Uh, since in the in the the, the press demo that uh, people got to oh, play, no. uh, the boss was a chimera. No, that was a mandicore. Yep, uh, yep. Yeah. And fun fact, I was surprised to see that well, mandicore is part of Persian mythology. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, maybe if Lost Crown does well, we'll finally get to see that blasted remake that was already supposed to have launched. Uh, actually, could yeah, could be that they re-diverted the people from that to the Lost Crown. But well, time will I did tell. tell you that they recently announced that it's back on planning phase. Uh, there's, there's, uh, people yeah. are guessing that they won't be able to be shown. It was to be released, but apparently so bad that they to, had to remake it. For I always seen some is calling the reboot of the remake. Okay. No, for Steam now, theories, but yeah. Let's close the game off and go look for someone to raid. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna get my axe ready. Let's see. Firefox and switch. Make sure that the place is muted. Okay. Seems I forgot to mute it overall before. Uh, and the horn. The game. There. Okay, for some reason the game didn't want to close there for a bit. Uh, probably you play servers or something trying to upload the data to there. Anyways, then let's see. Twitch, there's a bunch of people online. Change the screen share to there. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, there's a bunch of people. Uh, we have the mentor marsupial who is playing Kenshi. Pika Girl, who is streaming Tales of Siphonia, Dawn of the New World. Okay, I know of the series, but I don't know of that specific game. And then we have Live Grow with Team Fight Tactics again. I'm not really interested in that. Jimmy McGinger is doing software stuff. Shrimp OS is streaming Rimworld. Coradust is playing <clears throat> Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, Gram the Wolf with The Wind Waker. Okay. Zelda, Legends of Zelda, Wind Waker. Uh, Touch Skeletal Oblivion Override. That's a new. Let me take a little peek at yeah, that. Yeah, I saw something about people doing something about Oblivion. 
Okay, this is not what I thought. Is is yeah. is a different game? Yeah, two D brawler, roguelite, perhaps. Uh, let's see. Moving on, Edrim is streaming Rimworld. WBPL is streaming Dark Cloud. Uh, oh, oh, that's an old game. Yeah, it's PlayStation Two ish, it perhaps or GameCube. Yeah, I remember hmm. right. It's apparently also very dark. And it was aimed for kids. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have Weird Romance with The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, Smoops on the Nonsense is playing Project Zomboid again. And last but not least, Alan Wake is... No, not Alan, Halloween is streaming <laughs> Alan Wake Remastered. Were you about to say Alan Wake's playing Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the disconnect that my brain made there so okay uh who have those wait, 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 wait. takahata is playing 40k uh 40k bolt gun of course <laughs> <laughs> okay i might take a peek at that myself later but for now who shall we raids um let's Ooh. see some people here that we haven't raided in a while they want to play Dark Cloud, perhaps? Uh, Dark Clouds. Okay. Let me copy the name. Then we had the R place. Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, uh, yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you as always, Rakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, tomorrow, likely a day off. I'll check if the others in the multiplayer group would be up for something, perhaps. Likely no Borderlands, but yeah, maybe something else. Uh, probably not Minecraft, because apparently they've burnt themselves out on that. Uh, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to put it as unlikely at the moment, but yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> and yeah. Uh, next stream will be Thursday then. Hopefully nothing gets in the way. We'll be continuing with this game. And I get the feeling we'll probably not be busy with it too long. I'll, I'm going to pin it on three streams at the moment. Yes, especially if we, if we get to going with the world starting at 7. Yeah. But only time will tell on that. I could be massively wrong and we could be here for 20 freaking streams. Probably not Boat here, <laughs> but still. So with that, let's start up the raids. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone, and watch out for seagulls and manticores, or as I call them, chimeras. Apparently. <laughs> <sighs>